COVID-19 forcing millions of people to work from home. Some indulging in happy hour while on the clock. A recent survey from alcohol.org finds about one in three North Carolinians are drinking during their workday. Starting to see individuals using it more to cope and manage uh, during this time. I think uh, the potential for this to, to cause more problems is very real. Dr. Michael Baca Atlas with the UNC School of Medicine says it doesn't mean we're going to see a sudden spike in substance abuse disorders, but everyone should be vigilant about a change in habits. I think we can use a good example from the opioid epidemic where we had folks who had never had any exposure before and were exposed to the medication and within a short period of time had developed addiction to opioids because we don't know quite the length of time that this may go on for. Someone saying, I'm just having a little bit more now may turn into something that becomes problematic. Anxiety and stress levels may be through the roof and positive outlets are harder to find. Seeing all the healthy alternatives, the gyms, the parks, the walking trails are all being closed, but your alcohol is so readily accessible. Kim Morris is with First Step Services in Raleigh. Providing drug and alcohol counseling to patients has become more challenging. Where we could, we were doing it in person, but as this has continued longer, all of our groups are being done via telehealth. The best remedy to navigate the unknown may be socializing through technology. We're really seeing that accountability among our group members, so they form really strong connections, really strong bonds. Within our own communities, reaching out to one another and just checking in. If you talk to someone twice a year or three times a year, maybe it makes sense to just check on that person once a month. I'm Rob Wu, Spectrum News.